colleagues. My name is Toby Okechukwu, and I represent an area of Woji River Federal Constituency from Enugu State. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, it is very, very understandable that a committee chairman who is responsible for the judiciary would want some efficiency in the administration of justice. It is important. It is within his scope of work. But we also have to juxtapose that with the need to look at other alternatives in encouraging this efficiency. The reason detail, as stated in uh, uh, for here on the bill uh, to alter the Constitution regarding uh, appeals to the Supreme Court to come by way of leave of court. The reason detail, as stated clearly here, is in order to reduce workload on the court. To reduce workload on the court. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, I think there are some other prudent alternatives regarding the reduction of workload. One is that you can, as is in cases of elections of members of House of Representatives, members of uh, 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 Senate, House of Assembly, that the appeal court becomes the Supreme Court for that purpose, meaning that there is a finality to action regarding matters arising therein. There are also other alternatives where, for instance, matters that are below, uh, above uh, 5 million naira would have to be done by magistrate courts. And anything above 5 million goes to uh, 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 high court. These are smart ways of dealing with this. Mr. Speaker, you may not know, we may not know, the real legal issue to be determined in any matter. I'll give you an example. For close to 30, 50 years, a matter of inheritance regarding to women in Igbo land was subject to adjudication for a long time. And I think about last year or last two years, the Supreme Court ruled that it offends natural rights of women for them to be discriminated against in matters of inheritance. So if by, by leave, you say that it should not be appealed or is denied. How do you enhance the jurisprudence in this direction? And more importantly, Mr. Speaker, it is convenient, to, for instance, to cite America. What of our common law practice, where every matter, you know, goes to the House of Lords, where we inherited this, our common law from? So I think it is very good to interrogate it and find out if there are some other alternatives that would address the issue of the load with our Lord Justices in the Supreme Court. And I understand the concern of the Chairman with this, uh, in this uh, direction. So I'm uh, aligning with uh, Honorable Abonta and uh, Moma that it should go to Constitutional Review, but it should be properly interrogated. Thank you very much.